Kipling. There was a wise man named Shaddai. Shaddai was a man with a tender heart. He had big bright eyes and a long thick beard. The children loved Shaddai and Shaddai loved the children even more. For the children, Shaddai had built a wonderful village. It was more than anything a child could dream of. Children were filled with joy as they played among the trees. Shaddai was always new and one of them called by his name. He dropped whatever he was doing and turned. He knew each one by name and he knew everything about them. Look at the birds, Shaddai. I wish I could fly like them. You have a special love for birds, Sean. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? Shaddai, could you tell us a story tonight? One with brave heroes and dark forests? Of course, Elaine. I always have a story ready for you all. Shaddai, could you take us to the orchard later? I love picking apples with you. Yes, Ruth. We can go as soon as I finish this work. Shaddai, can you teach me how to carve wood like you do? I'd be happy to, Ivan. Come, I'll show you. Shaddai, would you take us to the wall you have been building for so long? That's a wonderful idea. Come, let's all go to the wall and build it. What is beyond this wall? Why are you building it? This is a high stone wall. I'm building to protect the village. This is a high stone wall. I'm building to protect this village. Beyond the wall, beyond the wall is danger. You were made for my village, not for the terrible lands beyond. Stay with me. It's safe Oh, 
what is this? There is a hole in the wall. Has Shadai forgotten about it? Hmm. Should I tell him or should I tell the others first? Hey Sean, Ivan, come see what I have found. Look everyone, there is a hole in the wall. We could crawl through and see what's outside. It looks different out there. I wonder what it's like. But Shadai told us it's dangerous. We shouldn't go. What if something bad happens? It looks scary. I think we should stay here. But why would Shadai make a hole if he didn't want us to see? Maybe. But he also told us to stay. What if he's testing us? I think Shadai wants us to trust him. He built this village for us and it's perfect. Why would we need to go outside? We have everything we need here. What if we get lost? Shadai would be sad. Hmm, I guess you're right. But a part of me still wants to know what's out there. It's so hard not to be curious. Okay. The children turn away from the hall and head back to Shadai's workshop. Their curiosity tempered by the trust in Shadai. Shadai, Shadai, I found a hole in the wall. It's a big Someone could crawl through and see what's outside. I knew it would be you, Aiden. How did you find it? I was walking along the wall, searching for holes so you could see outside. I just wanted to know why you won't let us go out there. Why? Is it so bad? The lands out there are not for you. A journey into the forest will destroy you. Let your feet take you to the many places you can go, not to the one place you can't. If you leave here, you will never find your way back. So you will fix the wall then? No children. But you just said it's dangerous out there. I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay. But I did make the hole when I made the wall. But if you don't fix it, the children might leave. I know, but I want the children to stay here because they want to, not because they have to. go wrong with that? Shadai said he made the hole because he loved us. I wonder what he's keeping from me. Oh, it's nice out here. What was Shadai so worried about? Get it 
comes to go back to the home finds it gone. He panics and starts searching for the gold. Oh, where is it? Where did it go? What have I done? Shaddai had warned me. If you leave here, you will never find your way back. I should have listened to him. Shaddai, Shaddai, I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. Please come help me. I need you. Shaddai, knowing Aiden is already on his way with his stuff. Aiden's plea had been heard by the one who loved him even before it was spoken. He leaves the village. He may and set out in search of his help. He finds the boy in the forest crying. Aiden? Oh, Shaddai! You came for me! I thought I was forever lost. I love you, Aiden. I can't see you getting lost. I'm so sorry I doubted your love for me. You always want the best for us. I'm glad you understood that. Come, I take you home. Thank you. 